Having a standing desk can make you seem pretty cool, and they look great in any desk setup, but are they actually worth it, or are they just overrated? For me, even though I don't really believe in the health benefits of standing desks and I was skeptical at first, it wasn't until I first tried using a proper standing desk that I actually realised, wow, this has brought a lot of value into my life, and I never would have realised if I never tried it. Hi, I'm Shane, and these are my thoughts and experiences on standing desks and why I decided to get the Desky Acacia sit-stand desk in the end. Firstly, the option of switching between sitting and standing was way more useful than I expected it to be. I'm someone who spends probably more than half my waking hours at my desk, whether that be for studying, working from home, or watching some YouTube. I'd say each week, I'd probably spend around 60 hours or so at my desk. This means each year, I'd spend around 3,000 hours, and with a 10-year warranty on the Desky desk, I can expect to get at least a solid 30,000 hours of use out of it. Therefore, with all this benefit the desk would bring in improving my productivity, I see it as a worthwhile investment that you can get a lot of value out of, much better than buying something like trendy clothes, which you might just wear a few times. When I was just using my old IKEA desk before, I often got a sore back and legs from sitting too long. This meant that I wasn't feeling at my best and having sore muscles in your body was sometimes really distracting and annoying when I just wanted to get some work done. Yes, I could have just gone off to get some water or do some stretches, but this meant that when I came back, my mind was no longer in the flow state that I needed it to be in to be able to solve a challenging mental problem. Even now, sometimes when I get stuck on a difficult mental problem or question, I find that being able to switch from a sitting position to a standing position, or vice versa, makes me feel a little bit more refreshed and makes me feel like I am attempting the problem from a new perspective. Secondly, my standing desk has given me more motivation to actually study by making the desk environment a more aesthetic and cool place to be at. Whenever I sit down at the desk or stand in front of it, whenever I hear the motors drive the premium wooden top up and down, I get excited and find myself in a space where I feel energetic and happy to be in. This means even though sometimes studying or working can feel like a tedious task I don't want to do, this can somewhat be offset by working in a cool study environment that you are proud to be in, and the centerpiece of that is of course the desk itself. A quick disclaimer, Desky kindly sent me the Acacia Jewel sit-stand desk, which you see in this video, to try out and review, but even if they hadn't, I would have gone out and bought it myself. The biggest reason I had my eye on a Desky desk was that it reviewed well especially in terms of its build quality and it also had the aesthetic that I was going for. Desky has a wide range of desktops and sizes to choose from and this meant that it was easy to go and find the perfect one for me. I personally chose the Acacia Softwood option as it offers a cool wooden texture with just the right amount of imperfection and detail for my liking. In addition to looking great, there was also a surface where I could film nice b-roll footage for my other YouTube videos and product reviews, as well as being a nice background for when I'm shooting talking head videos. Assembling the desky was also very straightforward. I'm not a big fan of written instructions, so thankfully there was Josh from the desky YouTube channel who enthusiastically showed me how to do it in a nice clean video format. While the Desky desk is definitely on the slightly pricier side than other standing desk options, I feel like the build quality and added value and extra features certainly makes up for it. For any standing desk setup, I think it's important to have minimal friction with switching between sitting and standing modes. You don't want to be standing all the time or sitting all the time either, so switching frequently is definitely important. For that reason, I opted for the motorized sit-stand desk option where I can just hold a button to have a desk go to the height I want. There are also memory presets which allow me to save the optimal heights for my sitting and standing positions, making it even more easy to use. I can just stand up, stretch, and given the fast motor speed, by the time I'm done, the desk is already ready at the new height. It's the same for sitting down. As I sit down and have a sip of water, the desk is already in the new position for me to use. There are four of these memory buttons, making it perfect for sharing with someone else as well. While the Desky sit-stand desk has a wide adjustable range all the way from 60 to 125 centimeters, 
Making it usable for people of all different heights, a useful feature is that I can also restrict the max and min heights for my desk. Once when I was trying to do cable management, I was raising the desk for the max position and nearly ripped out all the cables out of my monitor and computer, but with the max height setting, I definitely won't be doing that again. Furthermore, I wouldn't recommend cheaping out on build quality either. Given that I use a hefty dual monitor setup with a primary 34 inch monitor and a new custom built 3K PC, I do not want to have to worry about the desk I'm using letting me down and not being able to support the weight. The desky desk that I chose with the dual motors can support up to 140 kilograms, which is more than sufficient and even when I lean heavily on the desk, I never feel like the desk is unstable, which really gives me the peace of mind that I need. The desktop is also made from solid wood rather than plywood and veneer that you can see with cheaper options. And the legs and feet of the frame are also quite heavy, overall making the desk feel more premium and giving me greater peace of mind. The treated finish gives the desk a nice shine and makes it more resistant to scratches and spills, while the chamfered edges mean I can put my arms over the sides without any discomfort, as there are no sharp edges digging into me. Another important thing about a good sit-stand desk setup is cable management. You definitely want to be getting this right, as if you have a mess and a tangle of cables everywhere and the desk is moving up and down, sooner or later something expensive is going to get pulled out and fall from the desk, and you definitely don't want that happening. A perk that I love about the Desky Desk is the integrated cable management channel, which fits the aesthetic of the desk frame and also has an attachable power strip which they kindly sent to me. This allowed me to power everything on my desk, the PC, the monitors, speakers, lighting, or just using one cable that runs from the desk to the power socket. Also, why would you get a nice looking desk if you're going to clutter it with ugly wires and make it not aesthetic anyways? However, one note of caution is that softwoods such as the Acacia desktop that I got scratch and dent pretty easily, and given it is a more expensive premium wooden desktop, I have to be a bit more careful in trying to prevent any more damage to it, which can easily be helped by a nice desk mat. So definitely I'd have no regrets recommending a sit-stand desk of the motorized variety. Yes, it can be a bit expensive, but if you can afford it, I think the value it adds is definitely worth it and goes much more beyond just the option of switching and standing every now and then. Hopefully that gave you some insights into sit-stand desks. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to not miss out on my upcoming desk setup video where I talk about all the things that you see on my desk. As always, take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.